Hi everybody. Welcome to day eight, Monday of your fast. We are so proud of you. We know that you're hanging in there and hopefully you're getting a little bit more Jesus time into your day and a little less food or a little less social media and a lot more spiritual cleansing. Right on. Well, I'm Jeff. This is my beautiful wife, Lynn. We're coming to you from Christ Church of Winchester. Hopefully your fast is going well. Um, I know for us, we both work in a factory and it has been physically challenging yes, to, to say the least. Um, I get hungry because we're in there for like 10 hours a day and- A little weak. A l yeah, a little bit weak, kind of sort of some headache type stuff. Uh, and actually some of the blood pressure medicine was kind of causing cramping for me. So I had to make sure I was drinking a lot of water, especially when I started to get hungry. I am a supervisor and I do feel sorry for some of the people that I have to talk to because of the breath issue. You may be having uh, a coating on the tongue, dry mouth, a little, um, a lot of nasty breath, but it's okay. It's just toxins leaving by your mouth. You may have um, an outbreak of acne. That's toxins leaving your skin. You're right on track and just push forward. This is all for Jesus. Right on. So as you start to overcome some of these physical barriers to fasting, hopefully your spirit man is getting prayed up because the things that we've been fasting, you should have been replacing in those times with spiritual activities such yes. as prayer, hopefully some praise, yes, even as your stomach praise. growls with you. And hopefully you're getting some word and just getting into the presence of God. I know Moses and Ezekiel and Elijah, and we all know that Daniel fasted. Yes. They were expecting, I didn't mean to cut you off. You're fine. They were expecting a result, right honey? They were, they knew going in that God was gonna provide. Even though they couldn't see it, they knew God was gonna provide. And we know that spiritual barriers are broken down when you fast. Um, it can literally change your whole spiritual life. We know that Jesus was taken to the wilderness where he fasted, and that's right before his ministry. And if it was great for Jesus, it's great for you. Right on. If, again, if it was good enough for Jesus before he started doing ministry, it is absolutely needed yes. for us because he was prayed yes. up. He was always in commune with the Father. But on the other side of the spiritual thing, there's also physical yes. changes that happen in your body when you start to fast. One of those is a change directly in your blood pressure. Uh, my blood pressure was extremely high here a couple weeks ago. You know, I took a shot in my back and it raised my blood pressure. That was one of the unexpected, unwanted side effects of the ESI shot. My blood pressure went way up, but and it was still up a little bit as we started the fast, but as we started fasting, it went way down. Yes, so praise, praise God. praise the Lord for the effects of the fast on blood pressure. Pray, uh, fasting can improve your heart health yes. and improve your blood pressure, your triglycerides, your cholesterol count. Yeah. Uh, it's been proven that within eight weeks of fasting, your cholesterol can go down 32%. Right on. And another really good benefit and effect of fasting is what it does around the waistline. Yes. Caloric, reduced caloric intake uh, through fasting is one way you can lose weight. And everybody knows if you lose a little bit of weight, it's really good for you. And also, um, you're going to feel better because mm -hmm. your metabolism mm -hmm. starts to crank up and starts yes. using the stored body fat as energy. That is another just really good side effect of fasting. That's on the physical side. Honey. Fasting, I just praise God for the ability to fast. A lot of people still can't fast because of their medications. That's okay. Again, we're not saying that you're not doing it right because you're not fasting food. Again, be with Jesus, be with God, let them to decide how you should fast, whatever they lay on your heart to do so. It's gonna again prove your mind, your will, your emotions, right. your body, your spiritual walk. Absolutely, absolutely. And I just hope and we pray that you've been encouraged by yes. us and that this fast is drawing you closer to God. 
that your cup is getting spiritually full. To overflow. To overflow. That's a, that's a really good key point. Yes. That you're overflowing because you've denied your flesh and your spirit is going to benefit from this just like Jesus did. Just like Jesus. So we want to thank you for joining us today. Yes. And I hope to see you again soon and I hope your fast is going very well. Just remember, when in doubt, give him a shout. In Jesus' name, have a great day. Yes, we're praying for you and we're rooting for you. Amen. Have a good week.